start the practice in supported child pose. First open your knees a little bit wider and place maybe a folded um, blanket or as you see I use two rolled mat or you can use a bolster or pillow or whatever between the legs to support your upper body. If you want it's quite nice if you have a blanket around you as you're placing on your lower back and as you're pulling the blanket just slightly bit down it have a little extra weight if you have someone around you can ask the person to pull this blanket a little bit and create a little extra heaviness a little extra weight rest your arms on the floor make sure you are not supporting your upper body so there is no weight on your elbows turning your head towards one direction closing your eyes Feel free to have a little bit longer inhale first. Exhaling out through your mouth. Make your exhale long. Breathing in, longer inhale. And exhaling out through your mouth. Your body is lying on the floor. Your body is resting on the earth. Like resting on the palm of your mom, of your divine mother, the earth. Allow your body to be very heavy. It's time to do nothing. Time to surrender, time to rest. Rest and relax deeply, deeply, deeply. Relaxing your fingers, feeling the weight of your arms, forearms, elbows on the floor. The gravitation pulling your shoulders down, they are very heavy. Facial muscles are soft, head is heavy on whatever is underneath your body. Turn your head towards opposite direction. If you feel it's super uncomfortable, you can keep your forehead on the bolster, on the rolled mat. Anytime you feel a need to adjust the pose a little bit, feel free to move. Exhaling out through your lips. Super, 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 super long, long exhale. Feel the weight of your legs on the floor. Tailbone is heavy. You're breathing into the back of the body, into the back of the heart. Softening your lower back, middle back, upper back. How it feels getting supported. How it feels doing nothing. Just give a little time for yourself to rest, to relax, just to be. Just breathe. Your body like a teeny tiny ball. Slowly press your palms into the floor. Let's change the position. Remove the props you've been using and now just have one brick or block close to you. If you don't have brick or block, you can use a book or anything. Keep one leg straight at the knee bend. So all of the foot is pressing against your inner thigh. And rest your forehead on the brick or on the block. You can use your fists underneath your forehead, your hands underneath your forehead, 
the bricks and the blocks they have more dimensions so feel free to find the higher one or the lower one this position not just lengthening your lower back but lengthening the back of the leg as we are going through the life we holding lots of tension we are storing lots of tension emotions in our body When you have anger, when you have grief, you are keeping in the back of the leg, the buttocks, the pelvis area. Just breathe there. If you feel lots of tension there, just lift your head a little bit higher, changing the position of your brick or block. Shoulders heavy, facial muscles heavy. Exhaling out through your mouth. No holding, no tension. Just the earth underneath. And the air you are breathing in right now. Nothing else, just you, your breath. Slowly change the side, straighten both legs, stay there for a breath or two. And whenever you're ready to change the side, bend your other knee. And again, exactly the same as on the previous side. Don't worry about if on this side you need to keep the brick a little bit higher or you can make it a little bit lower, doesn't matter. Just stay. Feel free to touch your body as you see in the video. I'm holding my foot. You can rest your hand on your leg. Just as you're touching your own body, the warmth of your hand, the slight weight brings a little bit more ease. If it's your cup of tea, you are more than welcome to do the same. Long inhale. Softness. Quietness. Peace. How many years, months, days you've been always running, doing things for others? And we have something in our life, some event which stops us, we realize how much we miss resting. how much we miss to be with ourselves. Breathe into the back of the leg, back of the body. This is your past. Exhale out, release. No holding, just your breath, the present moment. In your own pace, in your own time, release the pose. Find a comfortable seated position, cross-legged seated pose. And check which leg is on the front. In my case, the right leg is on the front. So I will stretch my right side, keeping the block on my left side. Place your elbow on the block. Rest your head in your hand. And your other hand is on your lower back. And imagine someone is standing behind you and if you want this person pulling your right shoulder back, turning the chest slightly bit towards the sky. 
if it's already intense to be in this position without this little extra pull or imagined pull, just stay in the pose. You are lengthening the right side of the body, the right growing area, hip flexor, psoas, neck, facial muscles are soft. Make sure both sit bones grounded, rooted, Mother Earth still holding you. You giving the weight fully and completely to the Earth. Keeping your hand on your lower back. Feel free to adjust the pose, lift your arm. You can keep your arm bent straight. Adjust the pose, mainly if it's not the first time you're doing this practice. Feel free to really adjust regarding what is the best for your body right now. These are all just suggestions. You need to feel what is your need right now in this very moment. Breathing in through the seat bones into the right side, right shoulder, neck, face, head. Every inhale, you're lengthening the little muscles between your ribs. Soften them as you exhale. If you feel your body happy to go further, you can keep your elbow on the floor. Oh, just stay, just breathe. Let's change the sides. Give a little support for yourself to come out of the pose and stay in a couple of moments in the center, neutralizing the whole body. When you're ready to change the cross of your legs, feel free and again block brick on the other side. Find your position, resting your elbow on the brick or block, hand on your lower back or Again, if you want to change the position of your arm, you are more than welcome. Allow your head to be heavy. Still feel free to exhale through your lips. Both seat bones pulled down by your invisible roots towards the center of the earth. How this side feels as you stepping into the posture. One side always a little bit more or less tense. What is the reality of your body right now? Just watch. Watch the body, feel the body. Feel your emotions. Watch your thoughts. Watch the thoughts and imagine they are just like clouds on the sky, coming, going. And yes, sometimes the clouds creating this very thick cover blanket. And they just, it seems they will never be gone, they will be never gone. But trust the wind, the sun, they will make the job and they will dissolve at one point. You just trust, just stay, just get held. Nothing to do in this very moment, just to be. Gently help yourself to come out of the posture. Stay there for a breath or two before the next position. For the next pose, you will need a folded mat. Feel free to keep, instead of the folded mat, a towel or a blanket next to you. Make sure it's not super high and make sure it's underneath your shoulder blades, okay? So basically, where is the bra strap 
for the ladies approximately this is where you are keeping this folded mat as you see my shoulders are not touching the floor the arms above this folded mat or anything that you are using how do you know you're making this posture doing this posture well or right way is comfortable keep your knees bent maybe your feet slightly bit separated knees together and you can cover your legs keep the warmth keep the feeling that you are held by something warm now you are lengthening a little bit the front of your body the heart area which when we have stress when we have sad news is immediately want to keep us safe and the shoulders just rolling forward closing up this space if you feel it's really uncomfortable really vulnerable you can rest your hands on your shoulders like you hugging yourself you can keep your hands on the body again feel free to just experiment you want to cover your eyes you are more than welcome the breath traveling in through your nose into your throat into the chest around the heart creating space into the rib cage into the abdominal region and your exhale making you super heavy on the floor on the earth in the nice and warm palm of your Divine Mother. Breathing in, connect with your Divine Father. Bring the energy in, the fresh air in. The life in. slowly rolling onto your side and as you're pressing one palm into the floor lift your upper body just a little bit to move this support from underneath your chest underneath your head just for a couple of moments come into fetal position knees close to the chest just a couple of breaths there If you want to stay here a little bit longer, anytime stop the practice and stay in the pose longer. If you choose one posture from this whole practice and stay in that pose for 10, 15, 20 minutes, that's perfectly fine. Slowly remove whatever was underneath your head, rest both arms on the floor and slowly start to slide your right hand through the left arm, through the chest, you're caressing your body, rest your arm on the floor, turn your head towards the right fingertips and exhale out, in the next inhale, bring your legs into butterfly pose, soles of the feet together, open your knees wide, exhaling out, now close the left knee on the top of the right, turn your head towards the left side, twisting your whole body, exhaling out, inhale, lift the left arm up, Rest your hand on the floor, on the opposite arm, exhale out. And again, slowly start to caress yourself, slide your hands behind you, twist, exhale, stay. And again, butterfly legs, open your knees, exhaling out, stay in the pose. Twist, right knee resting on the top of the left, turn your head towards the right, exhaling out. Lift your right arm, rest your hand on the floor, on your hand, on your arm, exhaling out. And again, caress, caress, caress. Touch your body, touch the skin. Exhaling out as you twist, and again back to butterfly legs. Open your knees, exhaling out. Everything is super heavy. 
Close the left knee on the top of the right. Turn your head towards the left. And again, lift the left arm. Stay in the feet of pose. Exhaling out. Beautiful. Stay here as long as you want or continue the practice. Again, it's really up to you. Back to butterfly legs. Open your knees. Exhale out. Stay there. Bring the right knee on the top of the left. Twisting your whole body. Exhale out from the right side. Lift your right arm back to fetal position. Stay exhaling out. Feel free to again stay or again right arm behind you. Twist. Exhale. Stay in the position for a couple of breaths. Breathing into the right side of your body. Arm heavy. Shoulder heavy. Everything is super relaxed. Again, feel free to stay here for as long as you wish. Whole body is just whole held, supported. Nothing to do. just exist. Even you feel you want to disappear now. You can stay or you can change. Bring your legs back to butterfly pose for a breath or two and change the twist. Now both knees on the opposite side. In my case, I'm breathing into my left side, but if you are working with the other side, that's perfectly fine. Just breathe. Long inhale, soft breath. Long exhale. Breathe. Relax, surrender. Stay the pose as long as you want or slowly roll onto your right side. Stay in fetal pose. We have one more pose to go if you want to stay in fetal position or if you want to have the next position. Slowly in your own pace, in your own time, come out of the posture. And the last pose, go next to the wall and sit super, super close to the wall, sideways. And as you're lying down on the floor, you lifting your legs up towards the sky, Viparita Karani. My bum is touching the wall, but of course, if the back of your legs a little bit tense, go a little bit further. I really like to keep something on the soles of the feet. It's a little bit something a little bit heavier. It can be a blanket or anything. If you don't want, feel free to just keep this part. It's nice to keep something on the tummy, maybe just a blanket on the tummy. If you feel you want to be a little bit more cozy, of course, cover yourself with the blanket. It's nice to cover the eyes with something soft and not just covering the eyes, but as you will see very soon, I'm kind of wrapping my head. So keeping something soft underneath the head, plus as you wrapping, it will kind of holding the head. You will had the sensation that there are palms, there are hands on your forehead and they are just holding, supporting you. Feel the weight of your whole body on the earth. Feel that your whole body is held in this position, supported. Exhale. 
exhale out, exhale out everything. Exhale out the tensions from the corners of your body. Just surrender, just be. Actually, you don't, don't even need to breathe. The breath is happening. After your exhale, the inhale will happen. After your inhale, the exhale will automatically happen. One breath, other breath. One moment, other moment. This is our life. Just surrender whatever comes. Happy days, challenging days, is all life. Day and night, dark and light, happy, unhappy. Feel all of the tastes, surrender for all of the experience. We are just little leaves on the surface of a river. Just breathe, feel the support and trust. Stay here for as long as you wish. Thank you for turning up. Namaste.